Hello everyone, I am Adam and thank you for joining me for this week's development update and community Q&A session. Thanks so much for being here. Just week in, week out, seeing or imagining your smiling faces out in the virtual audience. It, it gives me life. So thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to talk through our latest updates across the Demiplane universe. And we are going to talk about what's upcoming, like we always do, and then plenty of time for questions at the end. So if you have those questions, you can ask those type question. I don't think the colon's needed, but, you know, to be safe, you can type question, colon, and then whatever your question is after that. And we have a magical ritual spell that has been cast that is pulling in those questions. And I will cover as many of those as I can at the end of us uh, of our time here today. So let's jump into latest updates. So on the Pathfinder content front for Pathfinder Nexus, we have completed all the errata updates. And so this is really important because as we have been playing catch up with, uh, wow, what are we up to? 20 something books, I think at this point. So as we have been doing that in a very short time window, uh, some of the files have been updated. Uh, you know, we got uh, so, some of that stuff was in flight. And so now that everything's live, the team has been going through all of the errata that Paizo's provided. And we are now completely up to date with all of that there. So if you happen to see anything, that leads you to believe that's not up to date, then that is an error and we want to correct it. So if you're out there in early access, helping us test all of the things, getting prepared for launch, really uh, appreciate you letting us know with that, but everything should be up to date now and all that errata is in place. And then uh, you better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. You better never let it go. You only have three one shots. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes really anytime you want to pick those up on Pathfinder Nexus. But we have got three, uh, the first three one shots available now. Somebody's calling me. Phone's blowing up. I'm going to get that away from the microphone where you don't have to hear it. Um, so these one shots, uh, so this is talking about, let's see if I can remember them all, Sundered Waves, we have Dinner at Lion Lodge, which I love the name of that one, and then we have Headshot the Rot, which might be the best name of any of these. Uh, so all three of those one shots, these are incredibly handy uh, adventures to be able to use. You can just, uh, uh, you know, as you're getting together one night, if it's not your normal campaign, you're missing some players, whatever, you can play this one shot. You can insert this into an ongoing campaign. So again, these one shots are really, really great content. And the first three are up on Pathfinder Nexus. If they're not there right this second, they are in the process of going up right now. So the team is putting those up and you're going to be able to access those uh, for, for sure today. And uh, the price of these, so I want to explain what uh, is going on with these one shots content. The price of these is $6.99 on Pathfinder Nexus. And what you get for that $6.99, these are PDF only uh, releases for Paizo. So if you go to Paizo.com, you can pick these one shots up uh, for $5, I believe is the PDF. So for $6.99 on Demiplane, you're able to pick it up, plus you're getting the PDF version of that from Paizo.com if you connect your account through Paizo Connect. So that's something that you can sign into Pathfinder Nexus, go up into your account menu, find the Paizo Connect button, click that, get everything synced up there. And if you do that, then you can get the PDF as part of that purchase on Demiplane. And then if you happen to already own that PDF, you can also connect your account and then it is discounted to, I believe, $2.99 on Pathfinder Nexus. So again, these are uh, lower cost adventures uh, that, that are a little bit shorter. And again, a uh, ton of fun for, for a single evening typically. 
And if you do that here, uh, we are uh, you know trying to get that price point into a place where, uh, you know, hey, w- we've done some good work here to get this up for you. And uh, but also we want to make sure that you can get that PDF as well. So um, so keep those in mind uh when when you have that opportunity to play some of those one shots those are up now i think there is one other one that if i'm remembering the name right is mark of the mantis and that was released just a few weeks ago and that one is going to be up probably this week too so we're going to let everybody know on social media once all those one shots are up but um but ultimately uh, all of those are going to be in place and then we are going to continue so uh, work in progress here we're going to continue working on the pending new releases in the rule books and lost omens categories and that would be book of the dead and knights of last wall i have been checking these books out uh, as the team has been prepping them and getting them ready for release really really great stuff in both of these books can't wait for everyone to be able to see those Uh, So the team's working on that. And then Standalone Adventures, we're going to continue after the one shots to keep working on Standalone Adventures. We will keep getting those out as soon as they are ready for you to start using them. And then we will move on, lastly, to Adventure Paths to catch everything up where Pathfinder Nexus will be completely current with all of the content that's been released for Pathfinder. And then finally, the team, as we have released phase one of early access, phase two of early access um, is is now out with the game compendium. We're going to continue in parallel adding content, this adventures content into all of that. But we are starting to really get into the nitty gritty with the character engine work that is needed for the character builder and the digital character sheet. We're very excited about what's starting to come together there, but um, you know, not quite ready to show things off yet. In the next several weeks, you'll probably start to get your first glimpses at some of that. And that's very important for us too. So as we give those glimpses, uh, that's where we would love to hear feedback, even on look and feel uh, on, you know, uh, what what you believe about the usability from, from looking at it. You know, those early indicators are very important as we start to head down this path, uh, because the earlier we get feedback, the easier it is for us to uh, implement what is going to be needed for this to be the most useful thing that it can be at your table when you're playing Pathfinder. So all those things going on. And also tonight, we have got a new show that is premiering. I can't wait for this. Uh, I can't wait to play in this. It is going to be uh, so incredibly fun. It has been so wonderful to play with many of these players for three plus years, uh, but then also uh, some of the new people that we're playing with. And then, of course, Deborah Ann Wall is coming to run this game in Children of Erte. And Children of Erte is... um, there's some mystery going on. There, there's a lot of things that we're going to be figuring out about these characters and about this world. And uh, genuinely, I, I know very little past that. I, you know, it, it's going to be so fun to discover that. And as a viewer out there and a fan, uh, I, I um, am very much looking forward to you all being able to discover all of that as well. So tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific, is where you can watch that premiere. And uh, based on what I've seen so far uh, with everyone's characters and everything else, I can't wait to meet the characters because, you know, as we've been working together, it's just been uh, superficial information for the most part, but uh, because we're, we're trying to maintain the mystery for all of the players involved. But even that superficial information about uh, who these characters are are and where they're starting this story out they are the kinds of characters that you know i feel like i would uh you know step in front of a bus for some of them already so you know it's uh it's just going to be uh so incredible to get to be able to meet them all and to discover who they are over the coming weeks and months so yeah this is going to be a long form campaign uh it's it's going to be a really sprawling story so tonight is a perfect time to jump in here right at the beginning. So come check that out tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific. And then upcoming, so on the Pathfinder Nexus roadmap, the Digital Reader Game Compendium, uh, those those are of course out as the first two phases of early access. 
Uh, we are working on those adventures one shots, the first three available today for you to start uh, checking out and, and picking up. And then um, all of the game uh, elements that might be in those one shots also included in the compendium. So that's the way that that's always going to work as we release the content into the digital reader. That content is also unlocked. The mechanics of that are unlocked and are freely accessible within the uh, game compendium. And then character management is hot and heavy in progress right now. And then finally, I keep, you know, teasing this, but this is mainly, um, I, I, I don't mean to be a tease here. Um, I mean, I'm intentionally doing it, but I don't mean for it to be, um, you know, uh, trite or anything out there, but uh, mainly saying that the team is working on not only putting together the groundwork and the foundation for some of the other nexuses that we have announced, so World of Darkness nexus, Free League nexus, exciting things coming in the next uh, you know uh, couple of months on those fronts as those things start to uh, to online for the nexuses there. But then we have some others that we can't quite talk about, but the team is working on getting ready to be able to talk about all that. So uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, uh, mainly saying that like, hey, you know, the team is also doing this other work on some of these other things. Um, and we're getting the team into a point where that kind of effort can happen in parallel, which is really, really important for what Demiplane is doing. Because if you haven't figured it out yet, we are, um, uh, you know, we're definitely going to be supporting some really, really great games out there. It's not going to be a single game. We're going to have an entire catalog of uh, some of the greatest games out there uh, that you can play in the tabletop role playing space. And so uh, us being able to uh, manage and maintain and support all of those games with high quality digital tools this is uh, this is the crux of what we're doing. And so these are the early stages and early steps of us getting everything in place where we will be able to do that and where it's not going to be drinking water from a fire hose, where it's going to be a manageable thing where we provide that kind of support. And uh, it, it's going to be, you know, uh, again, the target is for it to be what fans really, really want to use to enhance their games. All right. I think that is it for that, uh, for uh, latest updates and upcoming. And we're going to jump into questions. So I've got a couple of questions. Um, I am going to keep going until I stop seeing the questions come in. So if you have questions, you can ask those questions. Otherwise, we're going to have a really short one today. And that's, uh, that's perfectly fine because we've got a lot of work going on and I will go get back to that work. But, um, but yeah, let's jump into questions. If you have any others, uh, be sure to ask them. So Anchor89, is that coming through, Josh? By the way, we have Josh Simons, our producer. Okay, everything's coming. Everything's coming through. Excellent. Um, so Anchor 89, how soon can we expect to see actions and conditions put into the compendium? That is a really good question, and I don't quite have that answer yet. So one of the things that I can say is typically if you ask something that is along the lines of a timeline, you're not going to be incredibly satisfied with my response. And part of that is because uh, I have just done software development long enough at this stage to understand that giving firm dates on anything is a path to disappointment really on all sides of the equation. And so, uh, so it's something that we typically don't do. What we do is we try to give a very transparent, clear picture of the priorities of what we're working on, uh, what, what the things are uh, that, that are coming next, the things that are important to us, the things that we're uh, you know, try, trying to get out before other things. So uh, not going to typically be able to give a, um, a, a really great answer when it comes to any kind of dates. But uh, what I can say is that actions and conditions are something that we plan to put in place before the full launch of Pathfinder Nexus. So we want those in place before character management is uh, is fully ready for release. And so, um, you know, we're, we're talking... Uh, we're talking months and not, uh, you know, not at the end of the year or, or anything like that. So, uh, so basically to, to give you a little bit of a window, that's what we're looking at there. That is a separate 
type of work than what we're currently doing, which is in our critical path right now, which is really getting this character engine off the ground and getting that ready for all of the character management tools. Uh, so it is something that will be able to be done in parallel, but right now the team is resolving uh, some of the stuff going on with adventures content. It is likely that after we get things starting to be caught up there, uh, actions and conditions are going to end up hitting that priority list for, for that team. All right, Anchor 89. Will character sharing be a thing? Uh, I'm not 100% sure what you mean by that because I think it could mean a few things. But what I can tell you is targeted is, yes, you would be able to create a character and then um, definitely post a link to that character where other people can view the character. So if you mean sharing in that way, i.e. sharing a link for it, 100% that will be possible. It will be viewable by other people. Uh, we will have some type of permission in place that if uh, uh, you know people hit that URL uh, and, and you want the character to be private instead of public, then they would not be able to see anything that, you know, land there and it would say that it was restricted. Uh, so, so all of that will be a thing for sure. If you're talking about sharing for someone else, um, let's say you're a game master and you create a character that uh, you want one of your players to be able to use. And then it comes to that character being, uh, you know, shared with that player and letting that player um, take ownership of that character. That is also something that is on the list. If I am not scratching the itch with that question, feel free to ask a follow-up and I'll, uh, I'll I'll try to get a little bit closer to it. But yeah, uh, at least both of those things are things that are on our list. Uh, death uh, with an E, 25. Well, death normally has an E, but death with an E on the end, uh, 25. Any word about some Starfinder love? So no word yet, but um, I can say that we have seen some of the, uh, we've seen some of the Starfinder love ourselves out there. So I told you when we announced Pathfinder Nexus, one of the first questions that came up was, what about Starfinder Nexus? And the response to that was, we have the license to do it. We would like to do it but we would also like to hear from fans out there as to whether that is something they would like to see or not, because um, our prioritization is going to depend on that uh, demand that's out there for these kind of tools for Starfinder. And we've certainly seen a, um, a good level of demand. I don't think we've seen anything yet that is uh, making us change our plans necessarily as far as, you know, prioritization. So if you are uh, the biggest Starfinder fan in the world, uh, you know, you might want to start a campaign to, to keep, let us keep seeing that uh, if that wants to change. But I can say that Starfinder is still in the tea leaves for us, um, you know, at some point down the road. And so right now, um, don't know exactly what that time frame would be, but I would say it, it, it's not on the short term horizon, but it's something that would be in, you know, our long term bucket that we would be looking at. So Yes, something we would like to do, something we intend to do, but it's not going to be um, in incredibly soon, at least at this point. Um, our Darkade, will there be a stream about how does the back end with the dev team uh, probably work at uh, some point for those of us who are devs as well? Um, that is certainly a possibility. So, uh, you know, I'm sure at uh, some point in the future, I will have some guests on here on the dev update right now. Um, you know, on, on the development team, there's probably not going to be, uh, you know, many people who want to, to jump on the stream because they're incredibly busy working on making a whole lot of things right now. But, um, you know, when, when, when there's some breathing room um, here, you know, in, in, in the next couple of months, I think that's a great idea. And I probably can talk, uh, you know, one of our co-founders, uh, Mr. Travis Frederick, formerly all pro pro bowler uh, center for the Dallas Cowboys, who also is a super smart, sharp guy that has two degrees in computer related uh, things. Um, he is our uh, chief technology officer 
and he would be a great person for me to pull on here and uh, and maybe give a little cross section of some of the uh, the details behind the tech platform. So yeah, that's something that I am sure that I can uh, you know bribe Travis with uh, some steak uh, or something and get him to come on the stream to do that. So we'll we'll see about making that happen soon. Anchor eighty nine plans for a Pathfinder two E campaign live play that will showcase Nexus. Yes. Um, so we definitely have a, um, we, well, we have a show. So, so I guess um, it, it's going to debut on Twitch, but it will be pre-recorded the first version of this anyway, but it is uh, called the claw firm. We have previously announced it. Uh, Mark Meir is going to be game master and we've got an incredible cast that's coming together for that. That has been put on um, hold uh, because of pandemic related concerns, because this is a, a show that we have targeted for people to be together in a studio to play together. And so um, that being the case, we have uh, delayed it for a little while, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw that somewhere, you know, uh, mid part of the year um, that, that will likely be coming together and happening. And we've actually had, uh, we've added a cast member to that, um, uh, you know, that we haven't shared or announced yet. So uh, very excited about what's ha uh, coming together with that show. Uh, it is very, uh, well, I, I wanted to say it's likely. It is, um, it, it is as close to a guarantee as I can give you that we will have Pathfinder content in streamed form uh, going with, with everything that we're doing. And you are kind of hitting on one of the important key parts of that is that we are not um, we're not uh, ready to showcase Nexus in that way yet because we don't have uh, the third phase of early access going with character management. So as we get closer and closer to having a full product that is ready for launch, this is the time that you will likely start seeing some of that content uh, coming together. So we'll we'll share more as we have plans. All right, it looks like I've got one more question. So if you got any others, you need to, to get that in before uh, before I get done answering this. Otherwise, I'm out. Um, all right, Anchor89, do you have any more awesome sauce left? Because <laughs> you guys are awesome. That's not, well, it is a question, but it, it's a little bit of a cheating question. But um, I'll allow it because you're saying that we are awesome. Uh, much, much appreciated uh, for that. We're, we're definitely, uh, you know, the team is working hard, uh, but but also playing hard. Uh, it uh, really is a great team that we're working with here. And uh, it's just a pleasure to work with them each and every day. Uh, it, it's always fun making something. Um, and, you know, we're, we're making something here. We're making something that I genuinely believe is going to be really, really special. And so, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm thrilled to see it start coming together. One of the things that I talk about all the time, uh, when it comes to trying to find the right people for a team is that we are looking for, and, and by the way, this isn't mine. This is, um, you know, a billion, uh, billionaire John Doerr, uh, actually, uh, says, says this, but, um, but it is, that you're looking for missionaries and not mercenaries. And at the end of the day, you're looking for team members who are going to be, you know, real believers in what you're trying to accomplish instead of people who are just drawing paychecks. And uh, that's the thing that as we are building Demiplane and, and uh, you know, coming into this position in the tabletop industry and, and everything that has been happening in the last year, uh, or, or so all of that is targeted at, um, at, at understanding that we're looking for those missionaries and not mercenaries. And I think we've done a really, really incredible job of putting together a team that believes in what we're doing. And um, I just have seen from experience that when you have people who believe in what you're doing, what you do just turns out better. And, um, and, and so that, that's something really, really special about what's happening here at Demiplane. And this is why I can't wait to see what happens, you know, in this next year as all of these incredible games uh, that uh, deserve nice things start to hopefully get some of those nice things. I can't wait to see how all that shakes out. All right. 
Thanks for all of your questions. Thanks for your time today. Uh, check out those one shots. Um, I, I really, you know, headshot the rot is something else. So check that one out. Uh, ch check out all three of them. And we will continue to keep you posted on all of the progress with what is going on with Demiplane. Check out the premiere of Children of Erte tonight. I am stoked. I am so excited. Cannot wait for that to happen. 6 p.m. Pacific right here on the same channel. And I uh, can't wait to see you then. I will be back with you next week. Later, Gators.